so let us talk about the cardiac enzymes or markers okay so troponin i and troponin t uh, you have to remember that troponin i is the most sensitive and specific cardiac marker okay a cardiac enzyme so here here we will talk about three points rise peak and normal the peak is not important but the rise and normal is important so if you see in troponin i and t you see these are two words i and t are two so here you have to write two now multiply 2 with 2 that is 4 okay so from 2 to 4 hour it is rise and the peak is 12 hour and it will get normal in 7 days if you see this troponin is started with t and the t uh, and the t and 7 this is somehow like same you know you see the t and 7 is same so that's why we will say that in the 7 days troponin i and t will get normals now ckmb you see there are four words in ckmb so the four words so it means four hour and multiply it four with two it will eight uh, it will become eight so four to eight hour is the rise and peak is 12 hour now it will get to normal in three days okay but for this you have to remember that it will get normal in three days okay and the three days is become 72 hour okay so if you remember like per troponin i and t seven days then it's mean that is per three uh, the per ckmb is three days okay and now ldh so ldh is going uh, from l you will remember it come late and it goes late okay so l mean late so late somehow like 24 hour i means after one day it will get it will get rise okay now the peak you don't have to remember but it will get normal in 10 to 14 days as i say it come late and it goes late so 24 hour it will come it will start it it will rise and in it will get normal in 10 to 14 days now we have to explain a little bit myoglobin oh, you see myoglobin it is our earlier enzyme to increase after myocardial infraction you have to remember this for mcqs now it's mean my mean i i means i come first and i goes late so first come and first goes okay so it will somehow disappear in 24 uh, 24 to 48 hour i means like one to two days it will uh, it will disappear now troponin i and t as i told you that troponin i is the most sensitive and specific cardiac marker now troponin i and t it's a gold standard for my cardiac infraction diagnosis okay you have to remember this point now ckmb ckmb is actually for the diagnosis of reinfarction we use it for the diagnosis of reinfarction okay as it as it uh, it will get normal into three days so if a patient come after a first arm a first mi after like seven days and if we want to diagnose the reinfraction if you want to see the reinfraction then we will go for ckmb now you have to remember here that ckmb mb is for heart and ckmm is for muscle and ckbb for brain okay now we have to talk about ldh now ldh is actually we are which is related with the cardiac or with the heart that is ldh1 so normally ldh1 is less than ldh2 this is lactate dehydrogenase okay now in my cardiac infarction ldh1 will get more than ldh2 and it is as, as you already know that it will disappear uh, uh, after 10 to 14 days like 14 days okay now uh, now let's solve some MCQs. Like if I said that CKMB of the patient is normal and troponin I and T is high. So we have to remember, we already remember that CKMB, it is get normal into three days. Now uh, troponin I and T is troponin is high. So it means we are talking about like it will get normal uh, T is, this T is say, same with seven. So it means that it will get normal toward uh, in the seven to 10 days. So it means we are talking about here. So we are talking about here is uh, like three to uh, 10 or you can say 7 or you can say 10 days because uh, CKMB get normal into 3 so we will start from 3 days okay as troponin I is going to be increased from 2 to 4 uh, 2 to four hour now if I say that CKMB of the patient is normal troponin is also normal LDH is increased now you know that it will get normal in 3 days and troponin is get normal to 7 to 10 days so it's mean uh, uh, and LDH is increased so it's mean now we are talking onward 10 days so it's mean that from 10 to 14 days we are talking the, the the first time I the patient is actually first time I 10 to 14 days so this is how you have to remember it hope you will remember it now